Hello and welcome to MyMinMaths.co.uk video tutorials. And today we're going to be multiplying two digit and three digit numbers by a single digit. So first on to question one, which is 24 multiplied by three or times three. Now the first thing we need to identify is what multiplication is and it's just repeated addition. And what we can do is we can see this by saying, well, if I've got three 24s, I can add three 24s together. So four, add four, add four, three fours are 12. Carry it into the tens column. Then one plus two plus two plus two, or 10 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 is 70 for a final answer of 72. Now, another way we can do it is to look, is to start looking at the common methods, which will certainly take us uh, beyond year four into year five and six and so on. So it's really worth considering using this. And certainly for when the numbers start getting larger, it's very, very helpful. So here, if I have 24 multiplied by three, and here we have our units, here we have our tens. And first of all, I'm going to multiply by my units here. So first of all, three times four is 12. So I place my two into the units and carry a one for the 10 into the tens column to be used on the next calculation. Then it's three times 20 or three times two, which is six plus the one that we carried over, which is seven for a final answer of 72. So it doesn't matter which way we do it, but I would certainly recommend having a look at this method here, the column method, uh, which will certainly help you for future calculations. And next we're on to question two, which is 81 multiplied by five. So we're going to focus on the on the column method, like on the uh, the second part of the first question. So let's have a little look. So if I write it out, I'll use some different colours. So I've got eight for my eighty, eight for my eighty. Sorry, then I've got one for my unit, and I'm going to multiply that by five. So if I take these units here, I'm going to multiply it by the one, so that's five times the one gives us five. And then in the tens column, we're going to do five times eight, the eight, which represents 80 in the tens column. So five times eight is 40. So I place my zero in the tens column. And then in the hundreds column, I'm going to carry over the four. And as you can see here, this is where I have my 40. But because we've finished all our calculations, I just place my four into the hundreds column for a final answer of 405. And next we're on to question three, which is 65 multiplied by seven. And again, I'm going to change the colors of the different place value. So here we have 65, and I'm multiplying that by the seven. Let's place our lines in here. So first of all, we're going to focus on the units. So it's the seven multiplied by the five. So seven fives are 35. So I place my five in the units column and carry the three for the 30 into the tens column. Then I multiply the seven by the six for the 60 in the tens column. So seven times six is 42 plus the three to make 45. So I place my five in and I carry the four over. And again, we can see how this represents 45. And as you can see, there's no nothing else to calculate. We've used all our numbers up. So in the hundreds column, I'm just going to put this straight in for a final answer of 455. And finally for today, we're going to look at question four, which is 219. I'm going to multiply that by four. So again, let's have a little look. We've got our hundreds 
with the 200, the tens with a single 10, and the units with a nine. There's our first part here, 219. I'm going to multiply that by the four here in the units as well. So I'm going to place my lines in and we're going to run through the different times tables to calculate our final answer. So first of all, four multiplied by nine is 36. So we place the six in the units and carry the three over for 30. And again, you can see that 36 here for four nines. Then next, we're going to multiply the four by the one, the single 10. So four times one is four, plus the three is seven, which represents 70. And finally, we're going to multiply the four by the two, or 200, to give us an eight for 800 for a final answer of 876. Thank you very much for listening today, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.